I'm Dan Smith. I was number 42. And I got to St. John's uh, because I couldn't figure out where I wanted to go to college. And my dad said, why don't you go check out St. John's? And I hung out with Jim Smith and his family on a Sunday. And uh, there was no turning back from there. You know, we were pretty cocky in our the beginning of that season. We'd come off a really great season the year before, won the districts, went to the nationals, and our first two games we were a run and gun, unbeatable, and we got whooped. And the second game we got beat by who was it? Uh, Morris, right? Guys, yeah. right? So. Yeah, we got by beat by Morris. We shouldn't have lost to him. There were a few mistakes that were made in that game. Um, near the end of the game, Smitty was pretty upset. I think we all got chewed out, some of us more than others. And I don't remember if it was a film session or whether it was just Smitty being pretty pissed off that led us to straighten up. And the rest of the season was kind of history. I think we won, what, 20 some in a row or? My comment would be, um, one, and Ted gave me this language, uh, we all, you maybe not uniquely, but we all hated to lose. Each of us, as diverse as we were, none of us were, were very comfortable losing. And Smitty trusted us, I think, had confidence and trusted us to kind of find our, our groove together. Um, and, you know, we had a bunch of really good personalities. We had a nice combination. You know, I, even in my text to Pat earlier in the day, it was like, look, we need, we need our, our floor general. Um, we all kind of knew our roles. We accepted them, put our egos aside, I think, because we just wanted to win or Ted said it better. We just hated to lose and we'd do anything it, it we could do to make sure we didn't lose. And if that meant, you know, learning how to play together and Smitty trusted us to be able to do that. Um, that's kind of what I took from Jim other than his, I mean, he's just a great man. Like I said, I went to St. John's cause I hung out with his family on a Sunday up at St. John's and said, man, this is the place I want to be and the guy I want to have coach me. So, yeah. So when I got uh, back from Europe with Ted, I worked as a sales rep for a couple of years. Then I went to medical school, um, did uh, residency in general surgery at Mayo Clinic. I then embarked on an academic career in academic surgery. University of Cincinnati, Emory University, Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, 25 years in academic uh, surgery. And I'm now and I've been south for Atlanta for 20 years, again, Jacksonville for about 10 years. I'm back in Atlanta now. I've retired from my academic career, and I'm in private practice as a GI surgeon in Atlanta. Um, so I think that tops Pat, except I just don't have, uh, I don't have the Packers in my back pocket like Pat does. But. <laughs> well, you don't count me as a doctor either. <laughs> 